Oh, in a Fox 23 exclusive, we spoke to the brother of a man killed by a former Tulsa County Reserve deputy. Just last week, we told you that Reserve Deputy Bob Bates will receive early release from prison. Fox 23 investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln is live. She spoke to Andre Harris and has his reaction to that announcement. Ashley. Well, Shea Harris tells me he does not hold any animosity towards the state for releasing Bates early. Early, We've been telling you that Bates was released on good behavior, but Harris also mentioned to me that it was justice enough for him to get a conviction in this case, and right now they're focusing on this civil case against Bob Bates that's working its way through the federal court system. Andre Harris. We pray. The younger brother to Eric Harris. He really had a heart of gold. Tells me he's at peace with the amount of time Bob Bates served in an Oklahoma prison. The system said he's done his time. I'm not going to argue the way if the system say that it's time. Fox 23 told you the state is releasing the former Tulsa County Reserve deputy nearly two and a half years early from his four year prison sentence. A jury found him guilty of second degree manslaughter and the shooting death of Eric Harris last year. In his death, he revealed all the sins and all the troubles that was in the sheriff's department. Yes, that day, April 2nd, the day he died, was the day that all the dirt was revealed. Harris says his brother's death led to changes in the sheriff's office. Eric Harris went to his grave, likewise, to reveal the truth of what was going on in the sheriff's department. We told you that shooting launched a federal investigation and audit into the reserve deputy program. The program was put on hold until a new set of requirements and training standards were put into place. Harris and his attorneys say the release of Bates is beneficial to their civil case against him and the sheriff's office. They say Bates argued to stop that legal proceedings because he was behind bars. Through this civil case, we're going to reveal so much information. Now they say with Bates being out of prison, they hopefully will be able to begin the evidence gathering part of this civil lawsuit. Now, I found Bates' conviction was the only conviction against a law enforcement individual for the year 2015 and 2016 for the entire nation. Now, also, Harris and his attorney tell me now that Bates has been released, they are hoping a judge will grant them the authority to begin the evidence gathering stage of this civil process. Also, Tulsa County says they cannot comment on this case pending this legal situation. Reporting live from downtown, covering news that matters. I'm Ashley Lincoln, Fox 23 News.